What is up my friends? Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, let's be friends. My name is Danielle, nice to meet you. So I'm wearing orange lipstick and like I've never really done that before so if it looks really bad, like just like don't comment down below because uh, my feelings will be hurt. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I have tough skin. So today I'm sitting down to film a video about how to be healthy as a teenager. How to live your life as a high schooler or middle schooler or even in college while doing all this schoolwork and doing all these amazing, you know, difficult things but also being like pretty boss on the side being a girl boss being a guy boss being super cool super healthy super fit like you know focusing on yourself doing great things for yourself being healthy just healthy habits that you can continue throughout the rest of your life to be healthy and to just be good and just have a good life i don't even know how to explain it it's just habits that you should have for the rest of your life especially right now that can help you in the long run and help you to just enjoy your days better and just have a better life and just feel more content with life does that make sense i don't know if that makes sense i just know it's so hard to like go to school and then come home and not just lay down in your bed and these are just things that can kind of help you be a little bit more productive and just keep you a little bit more motivated oh if you are new make sure to subscribe down below i post videos every wednesday and sunday and recently i've been posting like three to four times a week so tip number one is to set goals and plan ahead people that are very productive and have a good lifestyle do this they plan ahead and I'm not saying you have to be crazy like me and have a planner full of things and just you know plan it to the T so today's Thursday and on Sunday night I sat down and I said what do I want to accomplish this week like what are some things I want to get done and I said I want to go work out on Tuesdays and Thursday at least so at least I have to go work out on those two days I want to go to the gym on Tuesdays and Thursdays Wednesday I want to do a little workout at home and then I said like you know on Monday I ate very clean I was very conscious about what I ate and then the next day I kind of cheated a little bit I've been I've been drinking coffee every other day like just little things that you can plan ahead you can write it in your calendar if you wish but so it's like you kind of have to stick to them because you wrote them down and for me if I write it down I have to do it number two is don't compare yourself to others there will be times I'll be sitting down and I'll be stalking like a ton of Instagram models and I'm like oh my gosh like she's so tan she's so fit but you know we her and I are different people we have different genes we you know we have a different lifestyle she doesn't have to go to school for like eight hours every day like she can literally work out all day if she wanted to so that's when I realized I can't compare myself to others because I have a different life than literally like you and I are completely different like we have totally different lives we have totally different things going on and you just can't compare yourself to anyone else because no one is the same as you and that'll help you kind of bring yourself back up next is expressing gratitude and I know this sounds like oh my gosh I hear this all the time I read this in so many articles like be thankful and you'll just be so happy but it is really true like on my morning drives to school like yes it's like 7 a.m. but I get to watch the sunrise I get to sip my coffee I get to listen to my amazing acoustic music in the morning and there's like little moments where if you just step back and get off your phone for a second you can really appreciate just like the little things in life and it will just kind of make you a little bit more content I've just been trying lately to just find moments where I can be super content with my life and not be complaining or thinking about what could have been next is just having regular physical activity and I'm not saying you have to work out every day after school every day after work because I can't even do that like I wish I could like I always say like oh next week I'm gonna work out every day after school it just doesn't happen we get in bad moods we get in funks we get not inspired we get tired we may have a lot of homework like there's valid reasons why you can't be working out every day but it's simple things like maybe in between like let's say you just finished studying for this test and now you have to do some homework in between those two go outside go for a walk you know do a couple stretches in your room it's just so good for your body and it truly rejuvenates you do a few jumping jacks and once I finally muster it up and just go over here and just start doing some jumping jacks it's actually crazy how it will change your mood like I'm not just saying this like I wouldn't be just sitting in front of a camera saying this there's no one paying me to say this I'm literally saying if you just get up and do a little physical activity it's really good for your body for your soul for your mind I'm in a really good mood today because right after school I went to the gym and I literally just went there for 30 minutes I did cardio and then I did a few different exercises for different parts of my body and I feel amazing it's like the little things on another note while it's really good to stay healthy and like do all these great things, it's okay to have fun sometimes. And I think that's something that I personally lose sight of. There's days when I'm like, I need to do this, this, and this. And my friends are like, Danielle, you need to chill. Like, let's go just like hang out. And I'm like, no, 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 I have so much to do. But it's really okay to just skip, you know, going to spin class one day. If you need a laugh and you want to go see a movie with friends, like that is also good for your mental health and just for you as well. Like it's good to get a laugh in and Laughing Birds Gallery, so I've heard, so. 
my next tip for you guys is to kind of keep stress on the low and you're like well of course I would love to keep my stress on the low but my stress levels are really high right now Danielle last semester was the most stressful time in my entire life I've made so many videos about it you guys know but what I have realized is I let that stress control me I decided to be like okay stress like here you come I'm just gonna exaggerate it even more and just make it even worse but then this semester I've been like okay that stress is there I can choose to bring it into my body and I can choose to put it in my mind and get super stressed or I can be like okay there you are but I'm just gonna be like it's there but just not think about it and just kind of work around it and do the work that I need to do but just not stress about it I know that sounds like well yeah anyone would do that but it's really like a mental thing so if you don't think about it too much don't think about it too much okay sorry then it, it's not as bad I've been doing it and trust me I'm a, I'm a stress major I major in stress I'm not even in college yet but I major in stress but let me tell you it works wonders to just keep it over there keep it over there it's like I see it go away hydrate 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 Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Hey, that was pretty cool, huh? I carry a thing of water with me every day wherever I go. So usually I, I to school I bring my big swell bottle. I love swell bottles. They keep your water cold literally all day. It's not a gimmick. Like it's really a thing. And I mean, water really tastes like nothing. I love water so much. And if you can just make it a habit to keep drinking water every day, it's good for your skin. It's good for your body. It keeps your muscles flowing. It keeps everything just good and like all juiced up. I think. So and like sometimes I'll get headaches or whatever and if I just keep drinking water it goes away super fast. My last tip is to never underestimate the power of sleep. And I know I am talking to the late nighters. I know all of you probably stay up so late even if you have school the next morning. I used to be one of those people. But now I've kind of turned into a grandma and I'm literally in bed every night at 10.30 even on weekends <laughs> and that's if I'm home but like if I'm out with my friends and I'm sleeping over at a friend's house then I obviously am up later like I can stay up later like there's nights when I do but lately for some reason my body is just done at 10 o'clock and then I wash my face I get in bed and then I'll get in bed and I'll watch a few YouTube videos and call it a night but it's actually crazy how just getting like seven to eight hours of sleep a night can change it for you. It's also like a mental thing. Like I'll go to bed at like 11:30, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to wake up at 6 a.m. tomorrow. This is gonna be awful. And it's also like a mental thing. So like you could wake up and you could have had like a good amount of sleep. Like you could have feel rested, but since you knew you went to bed so late, you're like already kind of in this mentality that you were up too late and you didn't get enough sleep. Are you guys following me? I don't know. But if you go to bed at 10:30, you really have no excuse not to get out of bed at 6 a.m. So lately if I go to bed at 10.30, I literally hop out of bed in the morning because I'm like, well, I, I got my sleep, like I should be good to go. I don't know, it's like a weird mental thing, but if that helps you, hey, go for it. Also something else to make you feel even better and more productive and cute, put on a nice pair of pajamas, sleep on some nice sheets and just light a candle and just, just feel good. It's just, oh, you just feel so good, wow. So that's all the tips that I have for you guys. If you did like this video, make sure to subscribe down below and comment any other videos like this that you guys want to see. Make sure to watch my last two videos that I will have right here. You can just click on them and go watch them. Follow me on all my social media, link down below, especially my Instagram. I'm pretty proud of it, not gonna lie. And I will see you guys very soon for our next video. Bye guys!